you can come on a beach safari here. So we're just on the side of the road and I don't even know these people, but, and I've actually just learned another fact that penguins have a really high divorce rate. Jesus Christ, I'm in the mud, the things I do. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. I see the porcupine. Way to the parade. It's not just any parade. pretty quick and I always get my shoes wet so how did the caves get here well story has it that millions and millions and millions of years ago there was actually a volcano what happened was it erupted basically the lava went poof landed over there formed the ashes it then actually made layers of rocks and then over time it eroded and then it became the forest of the caves pretty cool anyway Mr. B's been busy doing up us a little day trip today. So I think we're actually off to do a bit more exploring. So stick around. Towards Phillip Island Road, B420. That was so much fun. Did you just like that? That was really good. So a couple of fun facts about Phillip Island. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot smaller than what it is. It's, it's actually quite big and it's got so much here, like you've got your shops and stuff like that. So you pretty much don't really need to bring too much. You've got everything here. The population is around about 13,000. And how long is the island? The island is about uh, 23 kilometers in its length. And at its widest point, it's 10 kilometers wide. So there you go. I think that's pretty interesting. 
How far is Phillip Island from Melbourne, you may ask? Well, it's approximately 140 kilometers. Jesus Christ, I'm in the mud, the things I do. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. I see the porcupine. Just on the side of the road, and I don't even know these people, but the porcupine's underneath their car. <laughs> Hello, little fella. You could be under Brucey. You should be under the Jeep, not under the MG. Look at your spikes. Oh, he's just going to sit there. Hopefully he won't go up underneath the engine. He's on check about. Hey buddy, where are you going? Oh, he's so cute. The things you see in the wild. He's going back into his little house now. So basically what happened is these guys were driving along <laughs> They seen an echidna, they stopped. The echidna, echidna ran under their car and um, they couldn't get it out. So they're foreign and <laughs> they were just visiting. And the other fun fact was they didn't even know what animal it was. So anyway, <laughs> we are gonna keep going on our adventure. pretty close anyway so it's probably about 10 minutes and we have gotten to this amazing spot called pyramid rock yeah we're going up there was two ways you could go so mr b's like no nah, we're going this way and it's paid off so we definitely got the right way i know my direction <laughs> i'm also on the prowl again because i'm sure like in these bushes and grass and stuff like that, there's got to be wombats and more echidnas. How cute was he? He was adorable. Looking good. due to the high tide we couldn't get through um, it is approximately a two and a half kilometer walk from the car park but you're definitely not going to get there on <laughs> on high tide so we're out of luck on that one but if you want to explore In when you're over here meters, turn right onto back beach road c478 there you go and make sure you put in your directions in your gps because she'll get you wherever you want to go on phillip island that they offer here at the NRMA. They also offer studio rooms, which is just basically like a hotel room. These do look like one of the newest um, forms of accommodation here. They also have cabins, which are one and two bedroom. What I'll do is I'll put the link below um, if you want to check it out. So yeah, we've been staying at the NRMA at Cows, uh, which is probably the closest um, accommodation that we could find uh, for the fairy penguins. So it's been really good. 
Um, they've got lots of facilities that you can use as well. With the camping spots, they do offer en-suites as well. So if that's something that meets your needs, you can um, hook up and have an en-suite site, you can have a powered site, or you can have a non-powered site. So yeah, pretty much covers everybody here. Um, great facilities, and we've totally enjoyed our stay at the park. It's looking like it's um, filling up for the weekend. We tend to do our stays midweek at caravan parks to sort of stay clear of the majority of the people. But we've highly enjoyed our stay here and recommend the park. I actually forgot this accommodation. This accommodation is also at the park and it's completely beachfront safari tents. They do look pretty cool. I haven't actually been inside, but they do look amazing. So, hey, you can come on a beach safari here. On our way to the parade. Ah! It's not just any parade. Oh, there's a little happy feet. Why are we so rugged up and why am I going crazy? Because we're going to see the penguins. And they come from the ocean. Yes, we are at the penguin parade. Yeah, I've got my gloves. I've got my snow gloves. Dave's got his snow gloves. Anyone would think we're going to the snow. It's pretty cold. All right, so the best thing to do is jump online, buy your tickets. There's different packages you can that you can get. We're just going for the normal admission and you have to be here an hour before. So it's 5.30 that evidently the penguins are coming out. The penguins come out every single day of the year. Don't ask me why, they um, even come out on Christmas day. So I learned a couple of fun facts today that penguins can actually stay out in the ocean for up to four weeks before they actually have to come back. And they live on different sea lice. They even see life. They even eat squid. How funny is that? And barracuda. Anywho, let's go in. I'm keen. Are you ready? Yep. We're ready? Let's yep. I don't even know where we go. I'm ready to see the happy feet. I think it's over here. So we've got our um, tickets online and we're going to um, go and check in. These ones here. So basically we just go to the door for scanning. If you want to buy your tickets here, then you can go to the kiosk. I wasn't sure that you could actually do that, but anyway. Um, a few of the other tours are fully booked out. So I'm going to say if you did want to do that, then you need to get in early. And you know what? This is, where are you Mr. B? This is, this is, drink. this is probably the most people we've seen on our adventures for a while. So huh, I'm not sure. I'm feeling like there might be more people than penguins. Yeah. But anyway, the um, kiosk where all the um, souvenirs are and they've actually got the little facts on what happened last night with the penguins. So last night they actually had 611 come in and they arrived about 6.22. I have heard that the penguins are quite punctual, so hopefully they won't keep us waiting tonight. Expected arrival time, 6.15. There you go. So there is a big eatery here and a, I don't think there's a bar. There's lots of tourist stuff you can buy. And you know how many penguins they actually have? So clearly they're not all here because only 611 turned up last night. There's up to 40,000 penguins. That's a lot. Are you ready? Mm, just when those little penguins have sensitive eyes and it dazes them when they're on their way home. Oh, there you go. And I've actually just learned another fact that penguins have a really high divorce rate.
So we've just made our way as far as we could go on our little VIP carriage. It's not too bad out here. So we've actually learnt that there's going to be two parts. I'm hoping... Well, look, put it this way. When it's night time, we can't video, can we? No. So there's absolutely no footage, no photos, no videoing, no nothing when it's dark. So we're going to try and video as much as we can while it's light. But basically what happens is when they come from the ocean, they're going to come across to the beach. Um, basically, as our um, tour guide told us, these penguins are out here for absolutely up to four weeks at a time. By the time they get back here, they make their way back down to their burrows. They're exhausted, aren't they? Mm. Like, fancy that. Like, that's crazy. So when they make their way up, then they're gonna go basically all down through here. They've got like little burrows and boxes. And then that's when they live and they hang out there for a few days. Then they probably go and do it all over again. Yep. So, all right, we're just gonna work out the best place to find a spot. It's the waiting game. It's the waiting penguin game. We have got the front seats, we've made our way down and you just basically wait here until the penguins come out. <laughs> I hope they've got a good track, like, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what to expect actually, but I've got front, I've got front row seats. What more do I want? just been told that cameras are got to be completely off in the next five minutes. Yep. That means no GoPro, no phones, no nothing. So unfortunately we ain't going to be able to have any footage of the penguin. The only penguins you're going to be see, seeing tonight is me doing the happy feet on the way back to Brucey. Yep. So this place is filling up. Uh, we're actually feeling a little bit overwhelmed being here with the people literally just just squeezing in wherever they want to go. Um, what do you think? <laughs> yep. <laughs> there's there's absolutely no boundaries here. Um, they just want to sit on top of you, and we're not talking about the penguins. But uh, anyway, we'll have our penguin parade experience. <laughs> Is that right, Mr. V? Yep. And we'll check in when it's all over and let you know how we get on. And if I manage to get one under my puffer, I'll let you know too. <laughs> so there's a lot of people here tonight and I think you better do the talking. Well, I'm, I'm too upset. 90% of the idiots. They were told there's no filming, decided to, when the penguins are close enough to penguins, just film them. Yeah. Now, it gets a bit ridiculous when Amanda says to a lady, do not film, and then she stands on the other side of me and I tell her not to film as well. Yeah. And then they basically, oh, so sorry, so sorry. It's not fucking right. No, it's not right. We were all told for a reason. The reason why we don't have any footage of penguins on our on our episode or no photos, which is not a problem. We did the right thing. Any footage that you see of these penguins from the penguin parade at Phillip Island, if you see any footage of them other than what was given from the download QR code has been done illegally, completely illegally. We were told not to photo and do any photography or videoing for a reason, for the well-being of the penguins. It's to do with the fact that their eyes are sensitive to light. So these people, they're using IR cameras, flashes, anything else, it's affecting their um, yeah. eyesight. And when it happens, they don't want to come back to this beach because of the um, stress it puts on their eyes. So the, the population will end up either going somewhere else, yeah. or worse, this park will get shut down. Yeah. Um, we have spoken to one of the beautiful rangers that took us around earlier this afternoon on the buggy. Um, she was wonderful. 
like she said, um, they try and stop it, they can't stop it. People are continuously just disobeying what the rangers are telling them. Um, she thanked us um, for going and letting her know. We're also going to um, fill out a survey in regards to um, what we saw tonight. So we still had a really good time, but I'm going to say it really did upset me. Um, and yeah, I don't know what more to say. So my positive on tonight was the little fairy penguins were absolutely gorgeous. They were so cute as they huddled from the water. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as they got over the rocks, they got all excited and they were like, Hoo -hoo -hoo, like this and they just ran really quickly. So that was probably one of the biggest highlights of my night. Um, after we watched them make their way back up to the burrows, um, yeah, that's when everything just got a little bit crazy and I got really upset. So we did, we did watch them for a while, but again, it was just really overwhelming. So I'm still going to rate it at a high level, but just the people that are here, they're just totally majority are disrespectful.